Wondering if the CompTIA Security Plus certification can actually land you a job in cybersecurity? Today we're diving deep to figure out if this popular cert is actually worth your time and money and how it actually stacks up in the real cybersecurity job market. My name is AJ. I've been working in cybersecurity for the last nine years. And on this channel, we teach all things cybersecurity for beginners. So let's get into it. Why is the CompTIA Security Plus so well-renowned? Well, the reason is, especially what we see when we map it to our pathway for our students, is that once you've got your IT and networking fundamentals, which is something that we usually recommend people start with, you don't need to be working in IT. It does help, um, but you could just be somebody that's technical. Then we recommend going on and doing your cybersecurity fundamentals with something like the CompTIA Security Plus. And the reason we recommend the CompTIA Security Plus is because it is actually a very good fundamental certification that's going to teach you those cybersecurity fundamentals. It is easy accessible, so you don't need any degree. It, there isn't a huge startup cost to doing the CompTIA Security Plus and it is well renowned by many employers out there. So they could actually confirm that you understand those cybersecurity fundamentals once you've actually passed the certification or even just done the CompTIA Security Plus hands-on labs. So it's a great certification to build those fundamentals. But towards the end of this video, I'm going to complete this pathway for you and show you why you need a little bit more to be able to get your first job in cybersecurity. So what do you actually learn from the CompTIA Security Plus then? So you can easily see that by going to the CompTIA website. And the newest exam got there is the SY0701. So as you scroll down here, it's going to show you exactly what you're going to be learning. So it's going to teach you general security concepts, which is fantastic as a beginner, teach you about threats, vulnerabilities, and how to actually mitigate those threats and vulnerabilities, which is what you actually need to understand as a beginner. Security architecture, so... Um, this includes different security architecture models. Again, something very good as a beginner. Security operations. So this is going to be high level of how hardware and software and data management is all secured, even vulnerability management techniques, for example. And you're also going to be looking into security program management and oversight. So a lot of this, like you can see, is very high level. It doesn't go specific into any certain job type, which is why I personally think and we personally think that it's great for the cybersecurity fundamentals but there is a little bit more that you need to do to be able to get the job. But this is a great start to get those baseline cybersecurity skills and knowledge. All well and good looking to see if certifications actually teach you the right things. But ultimately, the only reason you're wanted to do these certifications are to get a job. Let's be honest. So the best way to look into this is to go onto your favorite job websites. I'm on Indeed and I'm just searching for CompTIA Security Plus just to see what jobs are actually asking for this certification. And you can actually see that there are many jobs on here asking for this certification. But when you look into the job roles themselves, they're not only asking for CompTIA Security Plus, which is why, as I'll show you in the rest of the pathway at the end of the video, why there is a few more things that you need to do. So you can see here, junior cyber security or SOC analyst. You can see they are asking for highly desirable CompTIA Security Plus, Linux Plus, Network Plus, for example. So these certifications are usually they're desired by companies. And most of the time, they're just scanning through your resume or your CV to see if you've actually done something related to Security Plus or if you've actually passed the certification, whether you actually have the skills to actually get this job. So that's why it's important to sometimes that you have to get a certification like CompTIA Security Plus just to get through some of the HR filters when you're actually applying for those jobs. Because in the interviews, they're not going to be asking you about Security Plus, they're more likely going to be asking you about the skills, uh, the critical competencies in this case, or the skills that are required to actually do that job. And we can even switch over to LinkedIn as well, where I just search for CompTIA Security Plus. We've actually got over 4,000 results here. And again, these companies, they're always asking us Security Plus or similar certifications. As you can see here, they're usually looking for fundamental certifications. But again, these are usually just going to be bypassing the HR filters when applying for those interviews, because mainly what they're looking for are the required skills and you being able to demonstrate how you can actually do the job, which I'm going to show you further in the video in the pathway. Now that you understand more about Security Plus and if it's actually worth doing, how do you actually study for the exam? So I think there's actually two ways. I think the first way is to go directly to CompTIA. Uh, it's going to be slightly more expensive, um, but you can get one of these bundles. There's Security Plus bundles. You get the exam voucher. You get the Cert Master Learn, which is the course. Cert Master Labs, which is the hands-on actual 
um, practical labs, and you get cert master practice, which is the practice exams. So this is slightly a more expensive way. But if you do get in contact with us, uh, you join our community with the link in the description. You'll join our community, and you could actually get up to 15% off any of these CompTIA bundles just by joining our community. And we've also got some courses in here then to help you build your own pathway into cybersecurity as well. So the link is in the description for that. So that's the first way uh, that we recommend going directly through Comte, getting the authorized uh, course bundles. But the other option that you can explore is the slightly cheaper option. Uh, you'll still need to pay for an exam voucher and you could just learn through Professor Messer, Security Plus. A lot of people have used Professor Messer. He's effectively got a playlist on YouTube that teaches you exactly how to pass your Security Plus exam. So it, it is totally up to you. But whether you want discounts off the bundles or just the exam voucher, you know you can just join our community with the link in the description. And not only do you get access to our cybersecurity pathway courses, the uh, CompTIA discounts, remember this is all free, you actually also get access to book in a tailored pathway call with a cybersecurity specialist. So you can come in here, uh, book in your own career pathway call, you'll join a call with one of our cybersecurity career specialists and we'll go through a tailored pathway for you so you know exactly what you need to do to get into cybersecurity. How does the CompTIA Security Plus actually compare to other certifications? Well, to be honest, it is a little bit of in a league of its own. Um, another certificate um, it doesn't have the same weight, it doesn't compare at all in terms of weight in the industry, but the Google Cybersecurity Certificate on Coursera, I've personally done that myself and I've gone through it and the modules on there actually teach you some really great fundamentals. The only thing is not going to actually um, hold any weight in the industry when we're going for jobs, but there will be some good knowledge there that you could in use in interviews. CompTIA Security Plus, as a fundamental certificate, it seems like it's in a league of its own when it, in terms of what it teaches and the weight that it actually holds in the industry, and by that I mean the actual job postings that are out there. SC2 cybersecurity certificate as well. But again, I don't see this as holding much weight in the industry. And the reason for these certifications is to go on to stepping stones to specialize into other areas. And to be able to do that, um, if you want to specialize, then you're going to want to get the Security Plus first. And then if you want to go into ethical hacking, for example, then you can go into the certified ethical hacker. Maybe you then want to advance to OSCP, or maybe you want to go into cloud computing then you might want to go into the aws certified security speciality or maybe you want to go more into the information security management side and you do something like cism or then you move on to cissp so when you're here you don't want to just be doing random certifications you want to be picking a job role in the industry uh, before you actually try to go for other certifications because if you just try and learn everything after you've learned your fundamentals you're only going to get more overwhelmed and more stuck so let me now complete that pathway for you so you know exactly what you need to do to get your first job in cybersecurity. We're going to complete this pathway and actually give you some tips on how to actually get your first cybersecurity job. So we've already explained that it's great to have some IT and networking fundamentals to start with, whether you're technically minded, whether you've got an IT degree, whether you already work in IT already. If you don't cover any of these, then you may want to look into the Course Careers IT Fundamental Certificate, which is successfully helping people get jobs. If you want more information about that, go into our community and we've got a classroom which teaches you all about that. Then Cybersecurity Fundamentals, CompTIA Security Plus, as we've explained, and and the hands-on labs if you can get those as well this is when you're here on the roadmap then and you need to be picking a job instead of like i just mentioned trying to learn everything and the best place to start out is that of a cybersecurity analyst and the reason for that is it's a lower barrier of entry usually there's more companies looking for cybersecurity analysts these days and it's still the easiest job to get into. By all means, it's not easy, but it's the easiest out of all the jobs in cybersecurity to start with when you're a beginner. So you then need to learn each one of these concepts. So SEAM, so that stands for Security Information Event Management Tool. This is a tool that all cybersecurity analysts are using. You need to get some experience with this. Instant response, so how to actually respond to a cybersecurity attack when it occurs. This is the kind of thing that you need to be learning. Cloud attack and defense. So you want to understand how attackers are attacking the cloud, how to actually defend against it. Customer service. So this one, when you're starting out, look for companies, uh, managed service companies. They're going to be dealing with customers and performing security services for customers. And because of this, you're going to need some great customer service. If you can get this, this is really going to help you stand out. You might not think it is, but I've worked with a lot of uh, people uh, and the best ones are the technical ones, but the ones that can always also face and speak with customers. 
attack types, defense techniques. So you want to be understanding uh, the different attack types that are out there and the defense tech techniques. So make sure you're understanding this. Threat intelligence then. So you want to be understanding the basics of threat intelligence and the basics of threat hunting and analyst tools. So SIEM being the major one that you want to focus on, but you'll learn a lot of this on your cybersecurity fundamentals in CompTIA Security Plus, endpoint detection systems, network intrusion detection systems. These are the kind of things that you want to be learning to become a cybersecurity analyst. Then you want to get these home projects. So we found that our students who use home projects are actually able to apply for jobs asking for one to three years worth of experience. And each of these projects needs to relate to each one of these areas. So set up your own SIEM at home. We've got a video on this channel which teaches you exactly how to set up your own SIEM. Cloud attack and defense. Again, we've got a video. This teaches you how to set up your own AWS infrastructure and how to attack it and how to actually detect that malicious activity. So each one of the projects needs to relate to each one these areas and now this is going to demonstrate that you've got the practical skills needed to become a cybersecurity analyst so we we're teaching you the theory here and you're also going to be then teaching yourself the actual home projects uh, which are going to be showing employers that you've got the practical skills needed then you're going to be setting up your resume and your cv with everything that you've learned all the way here using a skills-based resume format mine is actually available in our free cybersecurity community and once you get to here then this is just where you're going to be consistent with applying for jobs and get that first job as a cybersecurity analyst because once you get there that's where you can then specialize further uh, like i mentioned in this roadmap here once you get become a cybersecurity analyst you can then go into pen testing you can go into cloud security or information security analyst these are the great jobs that you want to get to and they're the ones that usually pay the highest salaries don't get me wrong cybersecurity analysts also earn great money as well but once you get more into the speciality side and you become a specialist in a certain area this is where the salaries come so this is why we recommend following this pathway uh, because it's worked for myself worked for the um, other empirical trainers and it's also working for the students as well so these are some great tips uh, for you uh, to ultimately get your first job as a cybersecurity analyst once you've actually got the CompTIA Security Plus so to conclude then can you actually get a cybersecurity job with CompTIA Security Plus? Well, personally, I don't think with just CompTIA Security Plus alone that you'll be able to get a job, but you can use it to build your fundamentals and then push towards getting your own pathway into the cybersecurity industry, focusing on one job, like the role of a cybersecurity analyst, learning those skills of what it requires to be an analyst, and then doing some home projects to get the practical hands-on skills that these employers are actually looking for. So CompTIA Security Plus definitely is a great start. So if you're looking to start somewhere, definitely start there. But also make sure you've got your own tailored pathway by joining our free cybersecurity community. And now if you're wondering if cybersecurity is still a good career going into 2025, go and watch this video next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you over there.